Hello there, remember us? It's been a lot better. We, we haven't been together for a while, haven't you? Because you, uh, I was on a holiday, you went on a mad rampage and start do, and then you something just... Something yeah, But it's nice to see you again, Nick. Yeah, so nice to see you, Chris. And you're absolutely red hot, then, when you're on form. You've got a treble up. <laughs> Uh, three weeks so three at three and treble up two weeks so well, last week was in his start too so he didn't want to submit any tips very wisely but yeah. you're absolutely informing now six out of six and going for another three this week you feeling confident? no pressure no pressure mm-hmm. yeah no I'm feeling relatively confident you've got mm-hmm. to be after you get a six out of six haven't you oh, really and, it, chest I, and in all honesty yeah, <laughs> uh, I looked at the coupon this week and I felt relatively confident yeah. which you certainly can't say every week so uh, all, huh? hopefully another three out of three Chris okay, well, let's commence then and, and, and and kick us off your first selection. Well, they're all three o'clock kickoffs this week oh. on on the Saturday, and I'm starting with Swansea Wigan, the glamour tie. Mm-hmm. Um, Wigan look a, a pretty decent price here, around the sort of three to one mark you can get for them, um, and they've actually got a decent record against these kind of sides. Uh, versus eighth and below last season, they won five, drew three, and lost four, which means three to one is a profitable mm-hmm. play if they if they repeat that kind of performance. Um, Swansea now winless in five although of course Wigan uh, are in a similar boat to that one um, actually quite like a Wigan double chance at four to five but yeah. where I'm actually going for my, my strongest bet is over two and a half goals and the reasoning for that is that 100% of Swansea games at the Liberty so far the stadium have gone over two and a half goals um, not only that four of their last five meetings at home against bottom six sides which I think we can safely put Wigan in that category um, have gone over two and a half goals and amazingly 13 of Wigan's last 17 away games have also seen three or more goals so plenty of stats mounting up there over two and a half goals it's 19 to 20 Chris it's shades of odds on I I think it's a a cracking price to get stuck into I'm going to be having a feast on that one absolutely Mm. I just think two poor sides um, yeah. Let's go with the unders here. I always think it's defences. Yeah. I've said it a million yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It can goals goals itself out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I fear for Swansea. I really fear for Swansea. Mm. You're hearing a lot of pressure points at the moment. About, yeah. You know, um, Loudrop getting called up with the chairman. What's going on? Mm. Mm. So we've dropped off such a great start. Exactly. Well, the first so. three weeks of the season, seven mm. points out of nine, but they've really struggled since. Mm. And yeah, I, I'm with you here. I think we can get someone for this game. I'm looking at your sheet, and you've got Fulham <laughs> against. Aston Villa next week. <laughs> well, uh, this is just one of the most obvious games yeah. on the coupon, isn't it, like, really? I mean, 17 to 20 Fulham, it seems to just jump off the page, yeah. that one. <laughs> Fulham have got this incredible home record. Villa haven't really got it together under Lamb, but I do think they're capable of the odd surprise result. And I do think they're on an upward curve, but that's because they were under Alec McLeish last year, and frankly, the, there wasn't much further <laughs> they could go down without getting relegated. Um, so for me... Fulham, it's just a really obvious play. There's a few reasoning uh, behind it beyond that. I'm sure no one thinks I'm being particularly creative here, but Fulham have, lo- have won seven of their last ten uh, at home. Uh, Villa actually got a decent re- record at Craven okay. Cottage. Um, not lost in three years. So they oh. won one, drew two. Um, but they, they did lose six of their last ten away to top half teams. Fulham always seem to just about scrape into that top half, don't they? Uh, and five of those games actually lost by two or more goals, so mm. pretty convincing. I mean, you know, if you weren't convinced by an odds on play on Fulham here, maybe you'd actually consider a smaller stake on minus one mm. uh, based on that stat anyway and, and see where it goes. Um, Fulham's record against the bottom nine last year was 1-7, drew 2 at Craven Cottage. It's, it's compelling stuff. You don't need, you need these stats. You don't need me to tell you. Fulham at 17-20, to 20. it's a great bet. It is, and you know, I actually had a good look at the Aston Villa squad um, mm. this morning. I tell you what, it's almost like, who's he? Who's he? Who's that again? Who's yeah. he? Yeah, and the ones you do know aren't in favour, because Lambert doesn't seem to yeah. like Darren <laughs> Beck so. We don't, we don't like to play Darren Beck because he keeps scoring goals. We yeah. don't want to use him. Outrageous play, yeah. But no, I actually, they fear for Villa. I really fear for them, and I just hope Lambert... Uh, uses his managerial uh, undoubted techniques mm. um, to, to oh, get a good them manager at the table, yeah, but yeah. I, I just looking at the squad, it's 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 it's, it's not impressive at all. Yeah. Anyway, so I can cover you there as well. My, uh, third and final tip. It's another one that seems obvious on the surface, certainly, but uh, the statistical data that I've kind of dug up seems to be really compelling yeah. again. Uh, Man United hosting Stoke. We all know about Stoke's uh, troubles with scoring goals away. Continued at Anfield, of course, uh, albeit with a, a solid defensive display as well on, mm-hmm. on the back of that. 
Um, yeah, 11 goals they scored away from home last season. Pretty dour record, the worst in the Premier League. And Sorry. I never really trust them to, to score goals on the road. And, and that means that Manchester United surely are going to win this relatively mm-hmm. easy because I just can't see them being able to keep United out like they kept Liverpool out. Um, the, the thing that really stuck out for me, I, I thought, you know, 2-7 to seven Man United and, and that sort of price, that there's not going to be any value about them. But I saw that Stoke have lost 14 of 16 away to top six sides. God. And uh, in... 11 of their last 15 away to that same group of teams uh, they've been losing at half time and full time oh, and uh, yeah and incredible really then when you think that United are 9 to 10 you can get for them to winning half time full time um, Stoke just don't seem to do it away they don't mm. seem to put enough pressure they dig in they try and get a result but I can just see United scoring the first half and, and cruising through <coughs> to victory so yeah. 9 to 10 that one I agree with you Stoke awful away from home they lose pretty much every game away from home Except when they play Liverpool. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that was cruel. I'm watching B Liverpool, they're, they're, they're in my mind. They've got a fascinating series. Huh? But anyway, um, recite your three, um, hopefully three, third consecutive, three bet up here. Uh, fingers crossed, Chris, that we're going for Swansea Wigan over two and a half goals at the 19 to 20 mark. Uh, Fulham Aston Villa, it's got to be Fulham uh, at 17 to 20. And then just finally, it's uh, Manchester United to be winning half time, full time. That double result pays 9 to 10. He's the man in form. He's Nick Watts.